can anyone be a foster carer? And I think this is the most important question to answer before we go on to the rest. Is that a question for me or for Liz? Which it's for one is you. Going? It's for both of you. But let's start with you, Rusty. Okay, I'll, I'll start with me. Can anyone be a foster carer? You can only know or that you, you can be or not be when you've gone through the process. All I can say to you is that the best way to answer that question is start the process. Get in touch with us. Then the process, as we go through the checks, as we have conversations and everything else, all I can say, do not cancel yourself. As it stands right now, you are a potential first of care. So don't cancel yourself out. So the answer will be in the process as we go through some of the checks, we do medical checks and everything else. But don't cancel yourself out. Right? Excellent. And Lisi, do you think that anyone could be a foster carer or do you think that anything would exclude people from becoming a foster carer in your experience? Uh, well, in my experience, um, I actually tried to work out before talking to anyone whether or not I could. And I thought I couldn't because I'm diabetic. And I had spoken with a couple of friends and um, then I spoke with my friend who's a social worker and she said, no, no, don't worry about that. There is a process and through this process, you have a police check and you have a medical. And those are the two main areas where you could possibly be excluded. But if you don't have any criminal record relating to children, if your health is manageable and is not affecting your ability to look after children, then it's not an issue. But you won't know that until you go through the process, as Rosivo said. And, you know, it's not held against you. If at any point in time something comes up and they think have a concern about it, they'll look into it and they'll see, is this health issue a concern? If it isn't, the process moves forward. If it is something, then it may be um, a health issue right now that's fixable. They might say to you, right now, you need to deal with your health. Please come back to us at a later date. So there's lots and lots of things. But again, if you don't start the process, you'll never know. Yeah. And at the end of the day, this is about um, getting good homes for children that need to be loved and given a family. And if you can love children and you have a spare room, the word spare is there for a reason. It's ready to place somebody in. So if you have a spare room, fill it. Fill it with love. Fill it with a child. That's wonderful, Lizzie. That's true. So we have another question, which I think will relate to what you were just talking about. And But I would like to start with Rusivo. So 18,000 children in the UK need a foster home, but there are already around 55,000 who are in a foster home. So how do we um, stop or close this gap between the number of children that need foster care and the number of families providing foster care? Very, very, very good question there. If we really do our statistics very well, we can actually, you will find out that, you know, we actually have more than um, 18,000 uh, households which actually could be foster families, foster foster um, the families. But uh, I think the challenge and, and, and the reason why we're here is to kind of bring awareness to say, listen, no one should count themselves out. No one should count themselves out. So you might, you might you know, you know, be there and you're thinking, oh, I've got a job, so maybe I won't be able to do it. No. There's, there's ways around that. Yesterday, we had one of our carers who was here. You know, he works. We have people who are in full-time employment, but they're working around that. You might say maybe it's a medical uh, problem, as Lee said, no. There may be other ways around it. Maybe you can be you know, assisted in how to manage that. So people are counting themselves out, hence why we have this sort of So we, we have to address those issues to say, I've got a criminal record. You know, come and we go through that. Not every criminal or not everything that is on your DBS will exclude you. No, not everything does that. You might say, oh, maybe I don't speak English. Well, if you are really passionate about this, let me tell you something. There are classes where you can go, where you can learn English, and, and there are other ways around that. You might say, I've got my bed suit, and what will happen, and everything else, or space, as Elise said. No, 
let, let us come to your house, we will look, and you will be surprised that they, they might say, oh, this is okay, this space. Some people have converted some, you know, their front lounge into uh, into house, in, in, into a room and everything else. Some people have gone, you know, you have to do it, you know, or, you, know you, you have to, to follow procedure anyway, uh, like planning permission, have converted their, their lofts into extra rooms. So there are many ways and there are many questions and, oh, I'm, I'm single. Liz is single, but she's a very successful carer. Uh, maybe I have never had any child of my own. How will I do it? Listen, we've got training. You can do it as long as you care. Somebody said this statement the other day. He said, you don't have to be a scientist to actually be a foster carer. You just have to be somebody with a caring heart. And all other things that you may hear from people, you may have read, because listen to me. I mean, when you go on social media or you go on, on internet, anyone can write any review about anything. Not every everyone's experience is your experience. So don't exclude yourself because you've read a comment about somebody who had a bad experience. No, it's different. You start the process and then let the process, you know, determine whether you can or you cannot. But, you know, to be honest with you, 99%, most people discover that, you know what, I, I was counting myself, but yet actually I, you know, I can be a foster carer. Yeah. That's wonderful. So I think there are many reasons why people hesitate. And I think one of them, the one that we have heard about the most, and we have got a lot of questions about this, is if people already have their own children, and they might be worried about tension between the children, or any type of issues, how would you address that receive one? How do you what advice do you give to foster parents or potential foster parents who have this worry? Thank you, Mapa. You know, if we had all the time and the opportunity to bring some of our carers here, they would be able to speak for themselves. Uh, there is one of our carers um, uh, whom I know. Uh, the son actually works also for Banya as a support, you know, you know, uh, worker. And you know, the, the, her children have grown up to become successful in what they are doing, and their children have, you know, grown up to even. The, their perception or how they check fostering, it, it, they find it to be very rewarding. And I think it was one of our carers who came here also, Fazi, and I saw the son commenting to say, listen, I mean, you know, you've got, you've got my mom a, a, a meaning or, you know, you know uh, something to do. And these are the children who have been raised in foster, in foster homes and who have also become very successful and even very supportive is how you manage because your children, ha they have to be involved in the process and they've also been involved in actually creating that environment. You know, you know you'll be surprised. Have a go, talk to your children, you'll be surprised. And you also hear, when you, when you come to some of our trainings or even during the process of recruitment, we bring some of our case foster care to our training, which is uh, skills to foster. When they come, they can they share their experiences, and you will see their success story. I mean, despite all these other questions that people thought would be an obstacle, your children actually is your first nuclear support system to actually, you know, for you to become a successful foster family. 